Hello, people of the internet. Uh, I am Kadethian, and finally, I have my uh, Scarlet and Violet Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box. Uh, this is the Pokemon Center one. Um, I believe this was supposed to show up like two weeks ago, but it ended up getting delayed, I guess, because uh, there was some manufacturing issue, some piece that comes in this, I guess, wasn't ready in time, so they had to delay the Elite Trainer Box, so I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, this is kind of the, I guess, summer mini set thing uh, for this year. It kind of focuses on Fezzendipity, Okie Doge, and Monkey Dory, along with uh, Petcherunt. I guess Petcherunt there. Um, uh, obviously, it's a yeah, standard Elite Trainer Box, pretty much. You got your packs, your energies, your promo cards, sleeves, dividers, uh, status markers, dice, uh, and and sleeves if I didn't mention that already um, so uh, let's get opening this assuming I can get my scissors in there or my nail one of the two Okay. Ooh, there's no book? Oh, they tuck it in here, I guess. I was scared for a second. I like these books just to see what all is in each set. I guess when they tuck it, it kind of bent it a little bit funky. You can see kind of a ripple here. There's Nimona, I guess. You can enjoy your lo join your local play Pokemon community. Then they've got uh, the different uh, promo cards. I guess we got some gold energy in this set. Power glass. Some other fancy cards. Uh, art rares. The ace specs in the set. Not a very big set because it's one of the mini sets. Some little tips, I guess, on what cards are interesting. I know I've seen people trying to make decks out of uh, the Loyal 3 here and Petcherunt with the Binding Mochi card. But I don't think it's been very successful. Let's see here. We have our two promos, one of which should be Stamped Pokemon Center. Yep, this one is in the uh, lower corner here. We have our dividers with the kind of, ooh, and shine my uh, iPad really bright there. Same pattern on the fancy sleeves. Not quite as shiny though. We have our brick of energy. Code card. Our uh, status markers, which the old acrylic ones I thought were way cooler than these, but whatever. Uh, we have our dice, and the old dice used to have the set logo, now they all just have EX on them, which is also not as cool. Ooh. We get a plastic piece now instead of the old cardboard, that's interesting. <laughs> I can tumble onto my floor. And then we have all of our packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and that's all that's in the box so we'll get started we have a fez and dippity pack code card for me darkness energy Ooh, that's got a pattern on it kind of like a hexagon thing going on Toxicroak, Meowth, Horsey, Fracture, Iron Moth, Janine Secret Art, Decidueye, Eevee, Joltik, and a Zorwark. If I can get my camera to focus a little better. Does 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon EX and Pokemon V in play. 
That seems like it can do a fair bit of damage. Monkey Dory. A hunky dory, monkey dory. Darkness energy. This one doesn't have the pattern. What is the deal there? Hound Hour, Drowsy, Absol, Cedra, Crobat, Janine Secret Art, Iron Moth, another Janine Secret Art, Zoroark Rivers, and we have our first EX. We got Okie Dogie. He has a poisonous musculature and he is chain crazed. Sounds great at parties. Oh, I can't reach. My setup is not set up like normal, I suppose. He'll just sit there. We have an Okie Dogie pack. It would be cool to get an Ace spec. I think there's like the, is there a stadium Ace spec? That's good in Gardevoir or something. Fighting Energy. Sneasel. Varum. Axu. Beware. Slither Wing. Cassiopeia. Q Rim. And look at that. We got a Ace Beck Dangerous Laser. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. That reminds me a lot of a Hypnotoxic Laser, just with uh, burn instead of poison. And you can only play one in your deck. So not nearly as good, but still interesting. Then we have Slitherwing Reverse. And Dusk Noir. Ooh, a Petron pack. We got a grass energy that's got the, uh, are these supposed to be like reverse hollows or something? That's, that's interesting. Anyway, we have a Dartrix, Duskull, Houndoom, Stuffle, Slitherwing, Cassiopeia, Decidueye, Duskull reverse, Sneasel reverse, and we have a fancy rare. We have uh, the Rev of Room, which is, I guess, a Lightning Terra type. Uh, Accelerator Flash. This Pokemon move for your bench to your active spot does 140 total. Shattering Speed to 50. Discard this Pokemon and all attached cards. That sounds like fun when you're about to just die. You can just do a bunch of damage and uh, nope out of there. Fez and Dippity Pack. Fancy energy? Nope, just a regular psychic energy. Hound Hour, Cedra, Eevee, Crow Gunk, Academy, but at night. Hypno, Eveltal, Night Stretcher Reverse, Eveltal Reverse, and another Zoroark. Zoroark. Mm, Hunky Dory Monkey Pack. Fancy energy, nope. Joltik, Persian, Fracture, Furfro, the Academy but at night, Qrem, the stretcher for what happens at the Academy but at night, the Room Reverse, Krogonk Reverse, and another Dust Noir. There must not be very many regular rares in this set. Now we have an Okie Doki Doggy. Fancy energy, nope. Stuffle, Zubat, Duskull, Qfint, Night Stretcher, Coldress's Tenacity. That's neat. 
Uh, Genesect, Reverse Colrus's Tenacity. Crobat, Reverse. And we got the Poison Peach, Petrarant EX. Next up is Petrarant Pack. Regular Metal Energy, Toxic Croak, Eevee, The Room, Zubat, another Colrus's Tenacity, Hypno, Genesect, Dusk Noir, Rowlet, and a new Hollow Rare, Tapu Bulu. I know I've seen the Colrus's Tenacity in some deck list recently. I don't know. Maybe it was. It wasn't the world's winner, was it? Anyway, I'd like a play set of those, so I would be happy with another one, just in case it's required. But anyway, we have a serendipitous pheasant pack. A regular psychic energy. Okay, Inke. Joltik. Drowsy. Horsey. Weavile. Zero Six Machinations, Sylveon, the No Way Spec Genesect, Blood Moon Ursa Luna, and Caparaja. Monkey Dory Pack, only these couple left to go. We got a Reverse Hollow Metal Energy. Pound Hour, Inke, Rowlet, Horsey, Eveltal, Sylveon, Powerglass. What's this do? At the end of your turn, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, and you attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to it. That's an interesting one. Uh, beware, Reverse Hollow Key Rim. Oh, this goes with the uh, Chorus's Tenacity thing. If one has any cards in their discard pile that has Colorus in their name, this Pokemon can use the Triforce attack for colorless. So that's like just going after Lost Box, I guess. It's Trifrost, if, if I said Triforce. Not a Zelda card. This card, all energy from this Pokemon, this attack does 100 damage. Just, oh, yep, that definitely is a Lost Box killer. It's like just murder all your comb fees. And we have a Cresselia that heals 20 damage and then uh, looks at your prize cards, I guess. The final pack is an Okidogi. Regular Darkness Energy. Golbat. Axew. Sneasel. Furfro. Binding Mochi. Melamar. Powerglass. Houndour. Dartrix. And our third Zoroark. So that is all of our packs. As for, we didn't get any like uh, art rares or anything. So that's kind of disappointing. But we did get uh, Petrarunt. The, uh, sh it's not shiny. What do you call these? Are these just like hyper rares? Or, or do they have like uh, a Terra? I don't know what people call these, but we have a Rubber Verme X. We have the Dangerous Laser Ace Spec. And, of course, we have Okie Dogie. Anyways, that's all for uh, this Elite Trainer Box. I'll see you next time, either on whatever video game stuff I upload or the next pack opening. Thanks for watching.